Sunday the 3rd of July, today it's open. Brill opens up between Easter and September. We did a drone video two years ago, two July's ago, up in the top corner, I'll link below. Realised doing homework for this, you're not supposed to do drones. Brill Parish Council don't like, so there is a drone video, top corner, link below, but it was two years ago, didn't realise. No drone today, but we're going to get in the windmill, so let's go and have a look. It's open to September, I thought we'll go for this Sunday, it's a nice day, let's go and have a look. Here we are at Brill Windmill. Let's go and have a look inside, here two years ago for the drone. Let's go and see what we can see. It's nice, amateur radio repeater up at Brill, so I'll have a play with that later on. Drone shots I'm cutting in two years ago. I'm not supposed to do drone at the time, I didn't realise. Today it's just camcorder, so let's have a look inside. Nice and steep, just what we like. Right at the top. All sorts of grade of flour. It was, it was a flour mill. Yeah, that's where the bag, where you're standing on. That's where the bag would have gone down eventually. Okay. So I guess it's two like stones grind together, don't they? Old school way of doing it. See up, if you go up to the next you see. Yeah. Ah. Some good old school cogs. Bit of metal work, little bit of wood. <laughs> Look through the window. There we are, look at that. Nice and high. It's high up this. Into Buckinghamshire, I think, just. Buckinghamshire border. <laughs> See what we can see. So this is how it grinds then, there's your stones. The grain would have come down, get mashed up in there, bagged up and through the hole down to the bottom. Anyone think of chitty chitty bang bang? They lived in the windmill. That was it, Turville. I'll link that below. Chitty Chitty Bang Bang Windmill. I've done that. Private residence now. You won't get in it. But I've done the outside. Link below. Chitty Chitty Bang Bang was Turville. There's a windmill playlist. I'll link that below. Yeah, part of it. Don't really understand it. But I'm guessing something came down there. Yeah. Oh, it says. Yeah, I look. Not looking. Flower dresser. Yeah, it's nice. Obviously, it's a drive shaft that moves. Look at the cocks. Impressive. That's a big one. Obviously, doing a bit of gear reduction somewhere. Sack hoist. Yeah, it is for chain. Might go straight down to the bottom then. Nice views. It's a car park, good size one over there. Okay, so the brake wheel up there that spins around and you get the flower or the seeds from up there from the sack hoist and then it's been grinded in the stone case over there and then it's been put in the flower dresser and then it goes up to the sack case sack hoist again so it can be put back in new sacks so you can so it can be transported so you can have flour to make on bread. The bottom level, and that is where we are from this circle which is joining but they don't have the proper mini model of this but also this is another sack which they used somewhere over here I think where they put the sacks mm. not that interesting yeah, a little bit of storage now but yeah it looks old and then this is where we were just a minute ago which is up there talk about that that cog joined it so it can all go together and that is a sack mover where we move the sacks and there is where the mini old 
um, the mini old, uh, what was it called? The locks were, the old locks. It was some flower or something, yeah. wasn't it? A flower, flower dress or Yeah. yeah. Well, that's and good, that's the ladder, so you can go up more. We're not allowed on that level. The yellows have gone up to the very top, but still, look out the window yeah. of the model. <laughs> model of the Bill Windmill, made by Norman Walker, a retired cabinet maker. There we are. It's getting a bit busy, we need to move on. They can only have so many at a time. So, no, nice activity. Bill Windmill. Driving gear frame. There's all your cogs and stuff, wow. look at that. Driving gears. It's nice, all wooden bits of metal work. Steep, but steep steps. And here it is. It's high up, it's a good height. <laughs> Real windmill towards the restoration. It's expensive to upkeep this. Looked after a trust owned by the Brill Parish Council, I believe. Most early post mills were built with their trestle timbers open to the river. Later, as it became very common to make use of unused space directly underneath a windmill for storage. There we are. Built in about 1865. There we are, just noticed that as I was moving down. 1934. Open at the bottom, where we are now. Obviously, brickwork now, it's all sealed up. There we are. All open at one point. Post mills are the very earliest examples of European windmill technology. Their design originates from the 12th century and was so successful that remained relatively unchanged after many centuries of use and advancement. There we are. This is where we are now. The large main post at Bill Windmill dominates the roundhouse space. 1934, that was open. That's that photo there. This is where we are now at the bottom, use of storage. All bricked up now, a little shop. Yeah, it's nice. 